everyone. Happy、uh, Friday! Yes, and it is the seventh day of the year twenty twenty two. What's on your bucket list for this year? Well, mine first of all is in my prayer bucket list is to pray for the whole world and what's going on right now.、Uh, I'm I'm sad to hear what's going on on the world, lockdowns, mandates, and all that, and even antibiotics are running short from the pharmacy. It's hard. Life is hard, isn't it? And people are losing weight because of oh. Did I say wait? I mean losing job. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Okay, and can't really sleep last night, so that's why. And it's I'm on my vacation, <laughs> so I'm enjoying the rest of my holidays. Soon, on Monday, I'm going back to work, so I'll be busy、um, again. With that said, my friend, so I'm happy, you know, to go back to work. Um, next week, and before I want to go farther, I just or let me share with you something. Okay, some encouragement to you. You know the future can be a scary thing. With so many uncertain are certainties now, and who knows what tomorrow might bring. When we have faith in Christ, we have hope not only in this life but also in the next. The future, while uncertain, it can be entrusted to God, and He will help us through. So let me read to you some uh, uh, Bible verses. That、uh, I hope that may help us all to、um, strengthen our faith right now, because I believe our faith is being tested right now of what is going on around us, and I want to encourage you not to give up, hold on to your faith, as what I do without God. You know, it's impossible without faith. It is impossible. So, here it is. Open your Bible in the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-three, verse eighteen. Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans chapter fifteen, verse four. For whatever was written in former days, was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. In Micah chapter seven verse seven. But as for me, I will look to the Lord; I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. And the last but not the least, First Peter chapter three verse fifteen. But in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason, for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness. And respect. Okay. So, I'm、uh, speaking, or I'm addressing all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I think the world is needing us right now to intervene through prayer. On what is going on around the world, 
we know what the Word of God says in His book, in the Bible, and we know what's going to happen in the end times, and we might be in the end times right now. But be assured, God's Word assured us that we have hope in Him. We have to trust in Him and give our lives to Him. We need to be steadfast. Do not be moved. Be still. And I know sometimes it's hard to do it, but don't forget to pray because that is the way where we can always communicate with God through prayer and always include everyone in your prayers, not just your family, and even the unsaved. Pray for them because God can do miracles and God can open their hearts. God can speak to them. God is in control. Don't forget that. Though Satan has the power in this world right now, but overall, it is, even though Satan has the power, don't forget that God is still in control overall, and He has a plan. And so, I'm asking you, my brother and sister, in, sisters in Christ, to please pray, pray, pray without ceasing. Don't just rely on the vaccine. We need the power of God to intervene and to work in this or in the situation that is going on right now. Okay? Know that the devil will not stop. And so we, the people of God, should not stop praying as well. Amen? Wake up. This is a call for all of us, people of God. Maybe God sees that a lot of us are sleeping away or asleep and not doing anything. So this is an opportunity to exercise the authority and the power that God has bestowed on us to trample down the works of the devil and stand in faith, live by faith and not by sight and do not ever live in fear. Okay? So I praise the Lord for having this opportunity and this moment to share with you some word of God and may His name be glorified in our midst and may the Lord bless us all, protect us all, and guide us all, and keep us all safe until the end of this year. So, again, we have hope. Amen? Glory to God. So, <laughs> uh, with all that said, again, uh, I'm going to make my breakfast. It's now very late breakfast, so probably this will be my brunch now. So, uh, I bought a, a, a root crop. Uh, was that yesterday or the other day? And this is not very many here in Taiwan. Okay. I, I seldom see it. And it's not available all the time. So, uh, I call it in my language, uh, balinghui. Balinghui. Okay. And in English, it is called cassava. Remember my, our uh, previous road trip with my friend before uh, we went on uh, Jinsan Old Street Market? And my friend bought balinghoy or cassava and uh, he made a cassava cake out of it. But me, I'm just going to make a very simple uh, food, okay, from it. And... Uh, you wouldn't believe the price of it. It's very expensive. But maybe if I went to the market, I could probably bought more cheaper and more uh, portions. But anyway, uh, I'm just by myself here. 
so I thought just buy one piece and here it is this is the cassava what do you call this in your language please let me know could you please write it down in the comments below so at least I will uh, learn some new dialect new language of this uh, you know specific root crops I call it balinghoi in my uh, language and I'm gonna cook it I'm gonna clean it up cut it in pieces and then cook it with coconut milk and add sugar to it and that's it and i call it uh ginata ang balinghoy as simple as that okay so um i'll see you in a few minutes then and i'll show you uh the end product or the food that i made i'll be right back stay tuned so okay guys I already cut it. Let me clean this one. And there's, aside from cassava cake, there is actually one more way on cooking this, uh, you know, balinghoy. Uh, I don't know. Guys, my kababayan in law, please, ano na nga ba yung tawag doon? I, I really forgot. So, this is how we, uh, this is how we peel this balinghoy. It smells good though. Nakalimutan ko na in my dialect like what was it. But anyway, let's find out i know somebody will tell me it it, it it was it is good too you also uh shred it you know scrape it like that and you um how to say i think you steam it para siyang puto na pinapa steam mo siya ano nga ba tawag doon please help mga kabayan grace my pinsan, you made it last time. Ano nga ba tawag doon, Grace? To. You know, I seldom goes home, so I forgot the name of our snacks. That's one of my favorite too, but this time I just want to cook this in a coconut milk. It's very fresh and ho and I hope this is good. Do you have this in your province or in your country? Cassava cake is very good though, very yummy. You see? And today, it's uh, better. Ooh, this is hard. We portion na mahirap. Siguro matigas na. And I hope this is good. Hindi yung klase ng uh, balinghoy na maano yung marami siya. Ano bang tawag doon? May mang ugat-ugat, you know, sa loob. Mm. Pinutong ko yung aking mga kuko, kaya ang ah, hirap tanggalin. Wala na akong kuko na pang ano. Ah. And I don't want to really, you know, 
eat all of this because I think one piece of this will be enough. It's a carbohydrate. So we have the coconut milk. Okay. Oh guys, look what I just discovered or find out. Our coconut is sleeping because it's winter here. So let's wake it up. So there is our cassava now, guys. I, uh, you know, ginising ko na yun natutulog na gata, and I already put some sugar to it. And guess what? It smells really good. So let's cook it for a few minutes, and uh, we'll see. Okay. So it turns yellow now. Ooh, it's. Uh, looking yummy oh so fresh guys I love it so it will take a while okay so we'll have to wait so there it is guys almost finished and that's the sugar over there on the side and uh it breaks you see that's already cooked and it looks looks yummy let me make the sugar a little bit you know uh, uh, yung gawin natin ano a little more stickier it smells really so good So there it is guys, this is my cassava and it's very rich in coconut milk and I didn't put too much um, sugar though, okay, iwa sugar na tayo ngayon and again mm. Okay thank you guys for watching and uh please don't forget to like and subscribe again and thank you for your support i hope you enjoy all my videos take care and god bless us all happy friday and enjoy your day god bless bye